Interested now? I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores. We grant the access. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard, but it's still got a long ways to go. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his, uh, friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Signs of radiation. Impressive. Hey, Ashes. What are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Overseer, huh? I suppose someone needs to be in charge. Well, if you need her, that's where you'll find her. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them.
Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. I'll come here if I get hungry. I like it here. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Austin, that bingo. The hair of yours is a full rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts a little grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. Good to know. I bet she takes good care of you. When she remembers. Or isn't too busy. Watch it, boy. Next stop, Miss Katie. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. It's good to know all the kids are getting an education. If you say so. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Gran makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Good to know. If I need help, I'll come here. I hope you don't mind needles. They poke at you a lot in here. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Erin, look who I found. The stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Um, this radio station. Ain't this something? The Commonwealth sounds so exciting. Uh, there are... Oh, some people help me stay in the air.
Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Yeah. See what's wrong with me, Doctor. Tell me your symptoms. Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. Blood pooling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah. We better clean you up. Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? You don't have cures for chem addiction, do you? Yeah, you got it bad. Let's flush your system. It's gonna burn like crazy afterwards, all right? Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Hurting all over, Doc. Eh, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in, though. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? That was it. Off you go, then. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh my. I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. Katie. I can't wait to see how excited the kids will be. Now, where did I put the screws? Hi, how are you? She's looking pretty bad in there. So you're the reason the patrols have doubled today. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you.
remember, no funny business. Nice pill. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. Watch yourself. Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to be stocked up. If you need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They I'm looking you. forward to what you'll have to say. Wearing that pit boy in the common room. I can't believe someone had to fuck with me. Ashes! Yes. Austin got himself bit hey, by a pal. Mole rat. So now they got us cooped you up in here to him. watch Aaron. Thanks, mister. It's ridiculous. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Bad kitty. I was so worried about you. And I bet Mom's gonna make me give you a bath. Watch out for the maintenance. It never ends around here. I know. Huh? I don't like it either. Never had an incident on my watch. We got a barber here if you need it. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsyth. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsyth, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsyth. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Without that cure, Austin will certainly die.
I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around here. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? Well, this is going to be a choice for you. He's going to be he just nag me and I can't go with you. So, real nice. You and your Thank staff you are to make sure every so resident is under stringent medical observation. <laughs>
stop putting off that detection. Think you can unlock that terminal? These folks weren't playing around. Sure, that was gonna do it. Got it. I don't think we're alone. I detect intruders. Please neutralize them. Security. I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Yes, you guess I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please, tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a vault -Tec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now, I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. It is stimulating traveling with you. What is it? Watch yourself. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across many fathers in the Commonwealth. The cure? You found it? Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. Hey, 
Let me ask you something. Sure, ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. You're in God. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. You, Thank goodness I found Diamond before? City. Going into a place like it's got its flaws, it's sure, but it beats happened. the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. Folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, like moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Once again, thank you. Can I go see Grant? How about something to eat? Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. And by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Was it hard settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth, consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. Your job is to stay here, not go gallivanting all around the Commonwealth. My former master, Monsieur Borrow, is quite dead. I have no other orders or obligations. So, advancing my scientific understanding seems a worthy cause. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude, but I must ask. Please, Monsieur, can you take me with you? Not right now. Well, perhaps for now I will help out here. But if you change your mind, please, you must find me. Hey, I, uh, I heard what you did for Austin. You saved that kid's life, so I, I was hoping you could help me out with Bobby. I need someone to get him off the jet. Ever since all that drama, he's gotten worse. Doesn't leave his room, high all the time. Rachel said if he doesn't get help, he could die. You're right. He needs help. You've got to convince him to go see Rachel. She's got some treatment drug that'll help him get clean. It's either get clean or get dead at this point, and that bastard better get his priorities straight.
If you need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They can Bobby. patch you up. What are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? You need to get help, Bobby. Go see Rachel. She has medicine that'll treat you. No way. It's never that easy. And now, I need this shit more than ever. It's the only way I'm gonna get through this. You need to quit. Austin almost died because of your habit. You're putting others at risk. But how am I supposed to do it? I can't handle that withdrawal shit. Not after everything that's happened. Just get some help, Bobby. Tina said Rachel has drugs that'll help you get through this. She'd do that? After what happened? You're right. What if I screw up again? I'll go. I'll go right now. Nice pit boy. If it ever starts acting up, I'll see you next time. Hi, Tina. Did you... did you talk to Bobby? How'd it go? Good. He went to see Rachel. He's cleaning up. No shit! You actually... Mm -hmm. That's it. No more drugs, no more dealing. We're starting over. Maybe now I can get him to leave this can. You don't need him. You could leave right now if you wanted. Yeah, right. Me take on the Commonwealth by myself? I might as well stick a bullseye to my back. Stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you coming across the Damn it. She's home. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a death claw? One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? Raiders surrounded the museum where my friend Preston was holed up. I had to kill them all with my bare hands. Just your bare hands? Really? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. I wasn't ready when the Death Claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Hope that pit boy belongs to you.
Yes. Yeah. Do you need something? 